Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and back to another Black Desert Online video. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, that little bell icon that lets you notify whenever I post new videos, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If there's any videos you guys would like to see as it pertains to video or any topics you guys would like for me to cover, and I will make that happen for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about, is it better to enhance items yourself or is it better to buy items off of the marketplace? And in my opinion, the answer to this question is both. You should do both at some point in time while you play BDO. Now, what I mean by that is certain items like your Tet Boss armor, your Tet Boss weapons, um, at least as far as like your dandies and your Kudums and Nuvers and Dim Tree, stuff like that goes. I mean, they're less than 2 billion silver a pop now, which does not take that long to get at all. And you will most likely end up spending more than that in the long run if you try to enhance these items yourself, especially if you're having to build the fail stacks yourself. Now, if you've got a ton of um, advice of Valks from, you know, the dice game and the RNG boxes and such, and you did the events to where you've got the higher fail stacks saved up, then, you know, by all means, you probably could come out cheaper enhancing it up yourself. But especially if you're a newer player and you do not have a big stockpile of fail stacks built up, then I would absolutely recommend just straight up buying these items off the marketplace. Now, the big thing with enhancing is it's all kind of based around cost versus risk. It is basically gambling. Now you can, you know, increase your fail stacks to increase your success rate. However, every piece of gear at every level, every accessory, they do have sort of a soft cap for your fail stacks. So after that point, you will get diminishing returns and it's really no longer efficient to even stack it any higher. Now, whenever it comes to accessories, like boss level accessories, um, I would recommend buying try if that's what you're initially going for. Um, but when it comes to Tet, it's really going to depend on how much time you have to play. If you're somebody that likes me, like me that, you know, works a full time job, has a wife and a kid, doesn't have, you know, all day to sit down and just grind and life skill and pump out tons of silver, then I would absolutely recommend enhancing on the accessories, especially if you have some big fail stacks put back. And the reason I say that is, is because the jump in price between tri accessories and TED accessories is so much higher just due to the increased risk. You know, whenever you fail enhancing accessories, it blows up, like it goes away, it's gone. Unless you use cron stones, but then, you know, if your tri accessory is most likely going to be a duo or a pry after that, and you're still losing a good chunk of money. The way I typically like to look at it is I look at the cost of what I could just straight up buy it for. Um, for example, like Tet Ton grads right now, I think are six or 6.2 billion silver. So I would look at it and be like, okay, you know, let's check out these tries. They're around, you know, 2 billion, 2.2.5 billion silver right now, I believe. Um, so it's like, okay, if I get it within three tries, then I basically break even. If it takes more than that, then I'm essentially losing money and I would have been better off just saving the money up to get it. However, the other way to look at that is, especially when you don't have as much time to play, it's a lot easier to save up, you know, two, two and a half billion silver to buy a try and a base version to enhance than it is to save up, you know, six, seven, 10, 12 billion silver to just buy a TED accessory. Now me personally, the first Tungrad earring I enhanced, I got lucky um, and I got it on the first try. The second Tungrad earring I enhanced, I ended up actually spending more silver total than if I would have just bought the earring out. It took me four tries to get it. My latent power stone was probably like my biggest like money saver there. I mean, I got an 11 billion silver neck for two and a half billion silver because I popped it on the first try. So, I mean, it's kind of a give and take and that's what you got to look at. Now, like I said, I would only recommend enhancing with the TED accessories and up like enhancing try accessories. You can do it with lower fail stacks, but it's just, it's so much easier to just buy them 
than it is to enhance them, in my opinion, especially right now with all the Oasis events and stuff going on. I mean, you hit level 56, you get full Oasis gear, you go farm up Asula's, and you're at 194 AP straight out of the gate. So you can farm in a ton of different places for silver and make decent silver per hour to just buy like your, you know, Tet boss weapons and try accessories. But when you start going for those Tet accessories, I would recommend enhancing, like I said, especially if you have big fell stacks put back from events, you know, the um, uh, adventure logs with the quests or, you know, what have you. Now, when it comes to fell stacking, there are a ton of different methods to it. If that's something you guys would like to see a video on, as much as I would hate it, I will do one for you guys. I hate fell stacking. I always seem to, you know, pop my fell stacks at ridiculously low levels when I'm trying to build them. But then whenever I try to use them, it's like they're not even there. So I absolutely despise fell stacking. But if you guys would like to see a tutorial on it, I can do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Um, and also let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's better to enhance or buy? And, do, and if you guys think it's better to enhance, do you have any specific little tips and tricks other than obviously just saving your advice of Valks from the dice game and such? Or let me know what you guys think. And once again, if there's any videos that you guys would like to see, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to make that happen for you. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And check out the other videos on the channel too. You know, I'm always open to your guys' opinion. And I hope you guys have a great day.